we're going to talk about our third proof technique, which is proof by contradiction. And we're going to look at an example where we would use this proof technique. Let's prove the following. There is no smallest positive real number. So this would be an example that would be a great use of proof by contradiction because we're trying to show that something doesn't happen, that there's no smallest positive real number. It's kind of hard to show that something doesn't happen. So we're going to do this as a proof by contradiction. So when you're doing a proof by contradiction, you assume the opposite of what you're trying to show. So assume and then when I'm doing a proof by contradiction I always say assume for the sake of contradiction that there is a smallest positive real number And let's give that one a name. Let's call it R. Say R. I need to come up with, I'm trying to get a contradiction. So I need to come up with another positive real number that's smaller than R. Well, think about any kind of positive real number you know, like for example, four, I could take half of that, right? It would still be a positive number and it would get smaller. When you take half of something positive, it becomes smaller. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna consider the number r over two. Well, because r is positive, what I know is that r over 2 is also positive, so it's bigger than 0, but it's also going to be less than r. Well, think about what this says. I've found a positive real number, that's r over 2, and it's smaller than r. But we said r was the smallest. So that's our contradiction right there. So what we've, let me write some of what I just said down. Now, r over two is a positive real number smaller than r, which is a contradiction because we said r was the smallest. So because I con contradiction, I, I know that my original assumption was false. Therefore, there is no smallest positive real number. And that's the end of the proof. So I'll put a little box here to indicate that I'm done and my proof is complete. So again, the idea with proof by contradiction is that you're assuming the opposite of what you're trying to conclude. And when you do that, you're hoping that you get some kind of contradiction happening. And remember, contradiction is something that's false.